There you go. Hi, Thea. Hi, Ian. <laughs> so today, how are you? Good afternoon. I hope afternoon. everyone is excited in our mini IG live collaboration. Yes. How? So welcome, everyone. Um, thanks for spending your Sunday with us, with me and Ian. So I see a lot of uh, familiar people joining us. How are you, Ian? I'm good. It's just a little bit and lang hot dahil summer in the Philippines. Pero kaya ng kaya. <laughs> how, uh, how many times have you had IG live? Uh, this is actually the first time I'm showing my face in IG live. Before we don't have a good connection with the internet, so I never really attempted IG lives. So this is the yeah. first time that I'll be doing actually, this. This is also my fifth time lang. So fifth time only. So we're like new noobs in IG Live. <laughs> okay, so today uh, uh, we'll be using uh, two main materials for today. So we'll be exploring uh, Manyani mixed media paper. This is a uh, paper that can be used in several kinds of medium. And also... We tried not to use this, so this would be a very first look on these watercolors. So these are Marie's uh, 58 color solid watercolor. So these art materials will be used for the first time today in this IG Live. So let's, we'll be seeing all of the first-hand comments and inputs that we will be doing using these materials. So uh, let's start. Yeah. So we're going okay, to switch so our talk. camera. We'll, yes. We'll just sh shift the camera into our workplace. And then I'll be seeing you guys in a few seconds. Okay, so okay. wait long. Okay. So now we're. I think we're much better in our comfort zone because our faces are not <laughs> showcasing oh. in front of everyone. <laughs> We're actually, I know, shy people in person. <laughs> yeah, we both of us are introverts, so <laughs> we, yeah, so so yeah, we're going to be using. So thank you to Pulp and Pigment. We they sent us this uh, the Marie's fifty eight uh, solid watercolors that is so nice to look at. It's in it's. Accordion, so really, really amazing to see a palette like this one. And Ayan as siya. Ian mentioned, we resisted not to use it. And actually, Ian, my manyani is still in plastic, and I have to remove <laughs> plastic. <laughs> so very unboxing, yung ating a uh, live for today. So we yes. haven't really used anything. So all of the things that we'll be probably saying in a short while would be first-hand things. That's oh, right. Walang script. <laughs> so uh, hold on. So we will be swatching together. Uh, Ian and I will be swatching together. And also, Ian, you mentioned about this circular thing, right? Have you found out? Yes. What is it for? Hindi pa. Hindi pa. <laughs> it, it the the back portion there is it can be wait I'm gonna get my ruler so it's a actually a ring and ah uh, this one yeah you have to lift ah. it up so you have to put uh, okay. your finger yeah and then hold it like this one so you can I get <laughs> ah okay so you can hold it naganyan. Yes, you can hold it under and then put it, put a ring on it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually afraid to, I uh, know, to meddle with it the other day. Baka masira. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, let's let's inspect first the main watercolor. So yeah. you can you can see here there it is an accordion type of watercolor. It has the brand dito sa, on this part. It's the Marie's fifty colors and then uh sponge here this mm -hmm. is probably yeah. the mixing well yes oh. the, 
it's a palette portion. It's you can mix your colors here. Then the colors itself, it's fifty eight colors. So, so you have yeah. here yung basics na from yellows, oranges, and reds, mm -hmm. and then you have the reds and the browns, and then it shifts into the blues, and then yeah. to the pastel colors here on this side. This is the favorite <laughs> colors of Thea. I know. Like, I'm so excited to use this side. <laughs> also, it's. I believe this is a travel palette, right? It's so handy. You can collapse. It's collapsible like this one. So, yeah, it's accordion. So, very easy to... If we're ready to travel, it's so easy and handy. Okay, so it and comes another with thing. This. Yeah. Ayan, yeah, go ahead, Ian. Uh, another thing, uh, if ever, ako kasi, well, I was actually playing with this the other day. That's just in <laughs> case you want you want certain colors lang to be exposed. Example, you just want this to be exposed. You can yeah. just uh, rearrange all the colors and just take the colors out one by one. Wow. So you, you can, can actually, actually take it out, yeah. You can take it out, and then right after, you just put the colors that you will be using, especially example on this side only. So if mm -hmm. you're, you're just painting with limited colors, or you have a palette in mind, or you have a particular set of travel colors, mm -hmm. you can just do that. Or probably replace this with their uh, true water colors when it is ano na, na You can replace actually, the colors yeah. afterwards. There. That's amazing. You found that out. I found out about the ring, the circular thing, and then you found out about something that you can lift it yes. out. Yes. Because I know there's no there's no manual kasi. There's no ma manual how to use it kasi. I don't know. There, actually the ring I found it out through this one. The the, ah, the manual. Uh-uh. The manual here. It's actually written in Chinese, but don't ask me about. Uh, I can read a few words. <laughs> <laughs> but not really the whole thing, so still referring to the English instructions. So there. See, it's yeah. ano pala. Uh oh, it's better to have Thea ano here. Oh, yeah. Most of it is in Chinese, kaya lang ayan. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, we'll be uh, swatching the colors on the paper here, provided in the package. So this is a uh, watercolor paper. It's actually a rough textured paper, as you can yeah. see here. But all of the colors are actually here with the name and the Chinese name also. So this is probably uh, the same colors that are seen also in this pack, I think. Yeah. More or less. So let's try to explore the paint uh, together in this video. So. That's right. Okay. So hold on. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone who's joining us to this afternoon. Thank you for spending this hot summer afternoon at home yes. with us. <laughs> so I just want to say hi to Linda, who is in Pacific time and it's quite late uh, on her end. So thank you, Linda. So sabi ni Lay Trans, ganda. Thank you. Mind of Art says, wow. Yeah, Earl's Art, hello. Wide variety of colors, that's right. Okay, so... Okay, so... Can we'll I start? probably do this, yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's try. So the first one would be white. Uh, I don't often use white, pero we'll swatch it anyway. So usually white in watercolors or an opaque color. Uh, I'll just put it here. Mostly, it's an opaque color. It's used in uh, uh, Oriental, Chinese, and Japanese painting. Kaya kasali siya palagi. And then, uh, cadmium lemon yellow. So, ayan. So, it's actually a bright colored yellow. Yeah. I like I like my, col my yellows to be bright because it's easier to uh, lighten it up with water there yeah. the paper is actually good huh? and also anyway. uh are you what brush are you using right now ian uh, i'm using uh, an escoda travel brush the number escoda. eight uh -oh. mm -hmm. okay 
I'm so I have the all of the yeah I have the Escoda Reserva, so I think mm. Pulp and Pigment will be also carrying Escoda line soon. So yes. that's something that you have to to stay tuned and find out. Look forward to so uh, Pulp and Pigment has an online shop. You can actually get all of your art needs from your watercolors, acrylic paints, papers. Uh, canvas, uh, pencils, everything. So all of your art needs in one space. You can just send them a message, check their Facebook page, or go to their website, and you can actually order everything from there. They carry yeah. brands like Vincer and Newton. Uh, they also have uh, Liquitex, Maris, Manyani, Arsh, watercolor paper, and many more. So I, I think you should check it out. So, I actually have a testimonial on their website. So, yeah, I've been to their uh, physical store, and mm -hmm. it's really like going to a candy shop for kids, right? You've been there yes. too, right? Yes, so. I've been there once. Super, it's a super fun experience. Yeah. So, the only I, thing you I, need is, I uh, know budget in going there <laughs> make sure that you have something to i uh, know you have a an firm decision uh oh yeah. a firm decision yeah. or was, you'll get uh -oh. i was there when they had the art in the park so yeah everything is on sale so imagine how i felt <laughs> how many bags did you bring home that day no. You saw no man, I think you saw in my book. <laughs> oh, you can I check brought... it. I think you can still check it on Thea's. I know. I feel, feel free to follow uh, Thea and me here on Instagram if it's your first time seeing bo the both of us together. Please yes. follow our Instagram. You can also check our Facebook page. So we both have our Facebook page. Thea, what's your uh, Facebook page? My Facebook page it's Craft Design by Thea. Yeah, craft design by Thea. And then in Instagram, it's a... Uh, it's Thea.ong. Okay. Napaka, ano nung, ano natin, napaka ordinar yun. <laughs> so, mama, it is, ano, mine is uh, Raven Fox, Raven Fox 13 here. And then you can go to Facebook and then you can see my Facebook page. The only reason why I have a separate Facebook page for most of these things is because... Mm -hmm. I don't want to flood my friends with <laughs> the things that I post about art because not all of my friends are into it. But uh, I, I, they are. Ayun. So I put most of it there. And please follow also uh, Pop and Pigment in Facebook. You can find them in Pop and Pigment PH in Facebook. And then you can also check their Instagram account with the same handle. We'll be linking everything in our recent post and the next post that comes after this live to make it you know, easier. So you, you, you just need to click all of those things. Okay, so Taya, uh, can we talk about our, you know, as we swatch all of these colors, mm -hmm. uh, can we talk about our uh, art journey so far until this you know, pandemic? So when did you start yung, yung art journey? Me, uh, I think I've been talking about this lately because I, I have, I recently did an IG live with other artists. So, uh, if you, uh, if you saw that, uh, I mentioned that I started 2016. I started with calligraphy actually, but initially I studied um, computer science. I graduated from the La Salle University, Manila. So I took up computer science. It's a specialized uh, degree. It's the parang we were the second batch to take mm. up that specialization. It's actually about e-learning. So, ah. so parang sa, sa CSB, there's a multimedia sub multimedia, di ba? There, parang during that time, nagbuboom yung multimedia sa CSB. Uh, so parang in in parang to to match that one from with La Salle, they come up with the multimedia na course na special specialization with e-learning. So we specialize in creating um yung mga apps na targeting mga schools. 
So my thesis oh, was that. about Yeah, my thesis was about ano uh for this uh children with autism so how they respond with yung mga e-learning tools. So that 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 was our thesis. So it's Yun. So that, that's actually uh I became a programmer, a SAP consultant with Hewlett Packard. Then 2016 I started calligraphy and then 2017 watercolors. Yun. Ah. So what what can you, you still uh, uh can you still uh remember what was the first thing you ever did a calligraphy na kauna-unahan? Ano yung unang-unang mong calligraphy? Na happy ka yung kinalabasan? Uh, I can't remember the word, pero I did a faux calligraphy. I get, I, parang, nag faux calligraphy ako kasi super frustrated na ako na it's not really turning up good. So, when I did a faux calligraphy, ah, actually, I can actually do this. So, that's, that, that's parang, that's the time that I felt that I can actually do this. And then, I didn't stop, I think. Never not a single day na parang you didn't feel na you uh, I stopped creating so since then it's a non-stop uh, work right you want yes <laughs> so uh, similar to what they uh, is telling us about her journey she started yeah. with uh, no with uh, no with frustration so it's just a normal thing so if ever any one of you is listening and then you feel that you cannot do anything that you probably seen on IG or YouTube or Facebook, don't feel discouraged that you can't do it in the first time. Even the best artists or even people and a striving like us felt that way when we first used all of these things. Yeah. So oh, how about it's you, only Ian? normal. I'm actually, I know... Uh, I started uh, going back to doing most of these things, the traditional way of doing art. Uh, similar on your uh, day, day uh, year probably 2016. So this is uh, like the fifth year of doing this. The only reason I was doing it back then, because I'm, uh, I'm actually an advertising arts major, but I'm a fine arts graduate. Though... Most of our training, uh, parang uh, we, we I work with uh, uh, what you call that advertising agencies, and then I do mga I usually do mga billboards, usual billboards, collaterals, marketing, props, everything. So most of those things. Tapos I was uh, given a chance. Uh, my career actually went from that kind of advertising and marketing to uh, fashion retail. So, mm. fashion, I, I actually designed uh, male clothes before. Uh -huh. uh, several years, more than 10 years, I started uh, designing clothes with uh, Oxygen. So, Golden ABC. It's a group with Pen Shop. Way back. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's after noon, I had several... Uh, I shifted and then I tried teaching in college. So, I teach... Uh, art in college in my alma mater sa UE Kalookan. Ah. So so I taught arts there. But most of the subjects that I teach is uh, mostly I do yung mga art history, art theory. Uh -huh. siya. Uh, tas ako yung tagasub nila. Ako yung nagsasub pag wala yung mga teachers nila. <laughs> and then I did several uh, art classes for other colleges. Yeah. Ayun. Tapos, na-realize ko, after nun, uh, I went back into working sa ad agencies and then dun sa mm -hmm. mga fashion retail. It got really tiring a bit kasi I, I was uh, actually minding about quota every month, yung financial yeah. everything. Tapos nung um, bandang huli, I was doing yung creative direction for the brand, blah, blah, and this. E, Tapos naalala ko, I, I used to love creating things with my hand na hindi siya based sa computer. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, the coloring book uh, thing arrived in the Philippines and it swept over the world. Yeah, the color, coloring book boom, di ba? Oo. Uh -oh. uh -huh. uh, that is actually one of the uh, best things that ever happened to us kasi we realized that we can do things by our hand. 
Mm. And by doing so, uh, the book publishing industries uh, naging buhay sila ulit. And then, art materials are flowing. Because dati wala naman talaga art materials. You can't barely buy art materials before. At mm-hmm. all. When I was in college, the only watercolor you can get is one, two, three brands. The colored pencils available are just this. The only paper that you can buy are those in the store. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. You cannot okay. choose. You cannot choose anything that's available. So that's the one that you'll be using. So yun yung idea. Uh-huh. And then this uh-huh. happened. And then I rediscovered my uh, happiness for teaching. Mm-hmm. And then the rest is history. Ayan na siya. Hmm, that's interesting. So, actually, both of us have parang teaching backgrounds, no? So, Uh-oh. I think, so I think, um, parang, yeah, during my last IG live, parang they were very curious about uh, how I teach kids. So, parang, I think, they, and then they did mention na parang not everyone, not every artist can be a teacher, but I cannot, I'm not in that position to say that. Pero, parang, I I've been a witness to your uh, uh, workshop uh, and your teaching skills, and I think that's one thing that uh, parang sets you apart. It's because you you've been teaching before, right? Yes, it's one of my uh, no favorite things that I love doing. I yeah. actually love teaching. That's one thing. Mm-hmm. That's one uh, difference. I actually love teaching. Tapos I love arts. It just so happened that. Uh, forgiving yung idea nung nag-merge sila in me, maganda yung kinalabasan kasi, surprisingly, I never thought I could uh, teach kids talaga. Kasi medyo maano yung pasensya ko, especially when I was uh, starting to sa bahay when my sisters or when I was teaching my sisters, they end up ano, crying. Kaya when they thought na I, I was teaching in college, kaya I never wanted to teach ano, small kids kasi ay, hindi ko kakayanan pag umiyak yung bata. <laughs> kasi probably, this is why, you probably expect uh, more, especially with yeah. your friends and siblings, rather than yeah. other people. That's Yun true. yung one thing that I have realized. Tapos handling those things, of course, ano kasi, I, I, I took uh, several units kasi ng MA. I was mm-hmm. on my way to ano talaga the teaching career in the university mm-hmm. until until I felt na ano so most of this uh you you'll, re- you'll realize kasi after a while I I try I studied ano art theory sa UP Diliman tas I I realized before na parang ah uh, there are so many theories tas uh, everything is leading for you to publish a book Tapos naging stressful siya sa akin. Tapos I was working. Tapos tight deadlines. Ganyan, ganyan. Tas, I wanted to stop uh-huh. everything that I was doing. So I stopped. Ayan. Tapos nilistop ko siya lahat. Tapos I was doing uh-huh. this na. I was brought into this wonderful place in between. Where I can yeah. teach people that really likes to learn. It really is different when you're teaching people that likes to learn. Actually, it makes a big difference. So, yeah. Yeah, I What's mentioned your... that too. Yeah, I mentioned that too. That um, I luckily, I the kids that uh, are enrolled to my class really wants to be there. Uh, it's not yeah. easy if the if only the parent want the parents want to, the kids to learn new art. Shempre, it's much more uh, easier if the kid himself or herself is interested. Talaga, right? Yeah. So if any of you around here are thinking or listening to this at the moment, and you have kids. Sometimes, there are, always remember, there are kids that would like to draw and paint alone. Yeah. Uh, oh, always remember that. Put that in mind. Not, hindi dahil sa, not because they like painting or drawing, they would work well with other kids and showing their work. Meron talagang kids that would just like to be left alone and do their thing. Okay? Let's have to... Uh, Accept that. We, we need to accept that thing. And it's also... Like talk, uh, talking from, from experience, no? Oh, oh. Kasi, kasi uh, I, don't, I don't really, ano, I don't really accept, ano, too much one-on-one stu. There are some, ano kasi, moms, they ask me, sabi, can you teach my, ano, kasi I see, eh, meron siyang talent and all. Of course, all of us, especially when we're kids, we all have this raw energy, raw talent of doing anything that we want. 
Yeah. It's just uh, us na napipili ta- after a, a certain age, you tend to choose kung alin dun yung gagawin mo. Uh-oh. You'll get into that age. So, when you're in that age and, and exploring kung ano yung gusto mo, what you want, what you want to do, whether it be art, music, uh, poetry, if you like to do engineering in your appliances. Sometimes kids also like that. They break apart things to build it up again. Just let them do their thing first. Sometimes kasi when you force things, it doesn't become enjoyable anymore. Mm-hmm. Things can become a task. Like example, when you're example teaching this and then you realize that the student already has too much in his plate. Like example, ah, I need to finish our art lesson in around 3pm because at at 3.30, I have my violin lesson teacher. Parang ganun. In a way, tapos after that, I still need to go to ballet class. Parang on, my, on the end of my mind, I cannot do all of those things in one day. But, so, but, but some, but some, but some, ano kasi, they, they feel na sayang yung time, sayang yung time. They, send, they tend to feel na parang, ah, it's ano, you need to do at most everything in a day. So what happens is the kid feels yung burnt out. Instead mm. of enjoying what she really or he really likes, they tend to feel na, ay, yun na nilang gawin kahit alin doon. That's right. So, so uh, yeah, ayun. Yeah, Mencha. that's true. I agree. So, I'm almost done. Yes, Last ayoko din. Of- <laughs> and I'm really loving the pastel colors. I'm not sure oh, how it's like in the camera, but in 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 my eyes right now, I really really like it. Ayan. Ako din. Almost Ayan. finished now with uh, this light yellowish green. Ang ganda ng dulo. It's actually ano parang pre mixes. Yeah. So especially for the people who hates to mix colors. Of course, we still uh, no, would, would suggest for you to practice mixing colors. But for those people on the go who wants to paint really fast, this would be a very good palette because it, also, it already has most of the colors that you probably need in the travel yeah, sketch. It's pre, pre-mixed already. It has 58 colors. Um, I believe it has good water solubility and the pigments are concentrated. Wow, so... Ang light ng sa akin. <laughs> you can see the difference. Mine, I really, really don't want to to mix so much. So, Ian, yours is looking good. But Oo, matingkad like kasi my... kung mag, ano, matingkad oh. ako mag, mag-mix <laughs> ng colors. Ayan. So, again, if you're using uh, watercolors like this, the best thing to do is to just let it dry first. Wag na siyang kutkutin. Don't meddle it with the brush anymore. Just let everything dry. Always remember that uh, watercolor dries a little bit uh, lighter than when it's wet. Around mga 10 to 20% na the colors would uh, lighten up. And it's natural for any watercolors. Uh, the watercolors we're using today is, again, uh, it's uh, Marie's 58 Colors, a Corgian type watercolor. It's a student grade uh, watercolor. It would be perfect for anyone who's a beginner. So that they won't feel na they're, ano, they're pressured to do exemplary work kaagad. This is very good for practice. And let's just try this watercolor with our paper. What do you think? Yeah, yeah so we can, we're gonna do another, uh, we're gonna do our own artworks using the Manyani mixed media paper. So.